Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And you are asking yourself, Epicurean? Doesn't everyone have that? Well, this is the Epicurean Cast Strength Glasgow Edition from 2018. One of 3,000 bottles worldwide. 44, 45 euros over here in Germany. So maybe about $60. 56 sorry 58.6 percent abv wow now in february of 2018 um douglas ling invited eight of the best mixologists bartenders spirits experts in from glasgow to come together under the leadership of chris leggett to create a new epicurean cast strength and the interesting thing is they were able to blend their own creation using different lowland single malts. Now, um, what I have here, and this is what I'm going to also do in a moment, is I have the normal Epicurean. I only have a sample of this, so I'm blending in the picture there. And this says a lowland blended malt scotch whiskey. Now, I had to admit that I was not 100% clear on my definitions of what the Scottish whiskey regulations are. A blended malt scotch whiskey means a blend of two or more single malt scotch whiskies that have been distilled at more than one distillery. For example, Johnny Walker um, Green Label just uses single malts, no grain. The same thing here. A blended grain scotch means um, a blend of two or more single grain scotch whiskies that have been distilled at one or at more than one distillery. And then the blended scotch whiskey, Ballantines, everything else from Johnny Walker and so on, means a blend of one or more single malt scotch whiskies, whiskies with one or more single grain scotch whiskies. Yeah, and so this is interesting that this has no grain in it. I think I'm going to put the bottle up here as well. Ah. All right, I think the bottle's enough to be honest. All right, so um, glass, and so I'm going to compare it here to the um, the normal Epicurean. Now, from the Scotch test dummies, Bart actually likes this. He's one of the very few people that likes this. I do too. So this runs you around um, sixty dollars. This runs you around forty-five dollars. And there are not that many distilleries actually in the lowlands. You have your Akintoshen, you have your Blattnoch, and you have your, um, oh, where did I put my, my Glen? Here we go. The Glen Kinich, Kinich. Um, those are basically the only three at the moment that are open and producing. And so Douglas Lane actually just combines them. And after these mixologists, the eight actually created their own blend of maybe these three. Maybe they found a fourth distillery someplace that had some bottles left because there were around 30 distilleries back in the lowlands. It might have been only 20 um, in the 1960s. They all closed except for a very, very few of them. And um, so then came Fred Lang, the president and now the CEO of Douglas Lang, and he tried these eight different blends, recipes, creations, and he picked one and said, yes, this is going to be our Epicurean Cast Strength Glasgow Edition for 2018. We're going to put out 3,000 bottles of this worldwide, and since I haven't found a single video of this yet online, ta-da, I get to do this. All right, so um, 58.6% might need a little bit of water. First of all, the nose. I get a light, a very light caramel, multi citrus moment. Now, I've described this um, as like an accord. You put da, 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 da. I can't with my one voice do all three or four different tones at the same time. But this basically has two. Da, da. This over here has like four da 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 da. I actually like prefer the nose of this better than this, even though it has a little bit more alcohol, it's a little bit crisper, a little bit clearer, but this has more depth, more complexity to it. There's more old stuff in there, and there's good wood that has been used there. All right, let's try it. I like. 
Oh, it's, yeah, there's transitions in there. Um, but the alcohol is really kind of massive. Um, it might just be me, but I do not. Um, anything over 50%, I try to water down to about 50%, which I'm going to do in a second. Um, but it's very, very light. There's a lot of citrus going on in there. There's actually a little bit of walnut in there as well, which I didn't catch the first time I did it in my German video. Mmm, nice. Now, the normal Epicurean. Mmm. Now, this is not my favorite whiskey in the world, but it's a good whiskey. This is a B-plus whiskey in my range. I'm not, and I'm not one of many people that actually put it up that high. Most of the people put it right at C-plus. Now, I must admit that I, it does kick some of the boxes I like. It's a nice summer whiskey. It's got complexity. It's got a little bit of that and feeling of, and I'm just going to go out there on the limb and say it, a little bit of a good grain whiskey, even though there is no grain in there. Um, it's old, as if they added like a 27, 29 year old grain whiskey to there and gave it some flavor, some aptitude, some really depth there. Mmm, very, very nice. Now, going back here, uh, a lot more of a, <laughs> and I described this as well in my German video. Um, over here, we sometimes have these little scent trees that we put in a car. If you take that lemon scent, that's what I get. It's not bad, but it's a very clear aroma, a very clear scent that's being tra transported. It's almost, and that's the second thing I get, like a citrus type of detergent. I think there's like Tide lemon flavored or lime, lemon scented, and that's kind of what I'm getting here. Not bad, but it's just clean and clear and crisp. Mm. Watered down, I get a little bit more of something like a, a nice Akintoshin, a nice woody type of caramel. I think I'm going to go once again for that walnutty moment. It's a, it's, a, it's a solid B, which is very, very good in my book. In my book, this is actually a B plus. This is a B. And now we're coming to the most important factor, at least for me in this moment, price. As I said, you can get this maybe for under $60 if you can find it in the States. There are only 3,000 bottles of this being produced in 2018. I don't know if it's a one-off thing or if they'll do it again in 2019 or whenever. The one of 3,000 bottles makes it a little rare and it's very, very interesting that it's the Epicurean. Epicurean was, and according to this here, um, oh, wait a second, I actually had to read the, the, the tin instead. Um, the 1930s, Glasgow City, there lived a man so stylish and witty. With a cheeky grin and twinkling eye, his dram in hand was seldom dry. He tempted you with indulgent treasures, fine food and drink, his undoubted pleasures. Um, exuding great knowledge and sophistication, our connoisseur deserved admiration. The life and soul of any party, he regaled thee those presents with tales so hearty. Of wondrous banquets, banquets uh, in foreign climes, uh, um, of sumptuous food and drink sublime. Around the town he gained such fame that Epicurean seem became his nickname. And that's what he was. Epicurean was that guy who had a lot of money in the 1930s. Very, very um, très chic. And he was doing his thing. Now we have the... Um, the cast strength version, and I must admit, the value for money is nice. I'm actually going to give it a B minus, which I don't often give, to be honest. The value for money here is a very, 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 very high score. I like the Epicurean. Price for money, I might actually that might actually beat it. If you can find a bottle, please do try it, at least at a bar or someplace else. A very, very nice thing. If you like the normal Epi Epicurean, you're gonna love this. A very, very nice thing. I actually received this dram from Timo, which is the German brand ambassador here for Douglas Lane in Germany. We had met up in various um, whiskey fairs, but we never had time to chat because he was always bombarded at his stand. And this time in Kiel at the whiskey fair in um, May of 2017, he said, all right, 
I'm going to take the time, do the interview with you. I promised you three times in a row. It has to happen the fourth time. And look, it did. Unfortunately, the interview is in German, and so you will not be able to see it here. But if you go to my YouTube channel in English, you can, of course, find it. And or my YouTube channel in German, you'll be able to find it and watch it if you are, if you can, if your command of German is high enough. All right, Whiskey Jason here, giving the Epicurean Glasgow Edition cast strength a B for taste and B minus for value for money. Thank you very much for watching. My question of the day is, what is your favorite lowland bottling? Is it from Blatnach? Is it from um, Glen, um, what was it called? Um, Glen Kinich? Is it from Ockentoshen? Um, I actually have a 27-year-old grain whiskey from that boutique from the Lowlands, and I would say that's my favorite. I paid about $100 for a half-liter bottle, and I just adore it. It's so good. But I like grain, and I like old grain. What's your favorite? Write it down in the comments. That would interest me. Thank you very much for watching. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are my videos. And it's a pleasure to um, introduce you to whiskeys which are very hard to find, which are very rare and somewhat exotic. 3,000 bottles worldwide classifies for this. See you soon. Bye-bye.